Hi, I'm Brady Ambler from the Nursery Golf and Country Club. I work under Brian Rogers. Uh, this is my mechanical side for the DFS. This portion will be about reels. In this video, I'll be showing you how to take reels off our triplex mower and what we do for transporting our triplex mower when the reels aren't attached to them. And I will also show you how we take the reels off our fairway mower as well and how we store it for the winter too. Attention warning, reel maintenance safety for reels. There should be no loose clothing worn that could get stuck in reel while it spins. Wear safety goggles if there are sparks or any potential items that may hit your eyes. Wear dust mask if there is potentially sparks and dust in the air. There should be no jewelry or anything that could potentially get caught in the equipment when working on them. Unplug equipment when touching reels blades if there is a possibility of the reel blades spinning when working on hearing protection should be worn when there is loud equipment running or other noises. Footwear with steel toes should be on considering that there are many possibilities of heavy objects falling on your feet. Anyone with long hair should wear hair protection if it's potentially long enough that it could possibility get caught in reel. Safety is required. Ricky Green at the nursery. How to take reels off our triplex greens mower. The first step is, is we're going to have to take the motor out. First off, I'm going to have to unbolt these two bolts that connect the motor to the reel, but they don't have to be completely taken out. Because then we'll just spin the motor and then it should just pop right out. Then there's a special spot on the front of the greens mower where there's a hole that's specially made to fit the motor in so that it doesn't have to be sitting on the concrete where someone can step on it, possibly breaking your motor. Now I will unattach the front roller that's connected to the reel, unattaching the two spring-loaded clips on each side of the reel that connect to the roller. Then I will lift up on the roller so it's standing on the two spring-loaded clips so it's ready for us to pull the reel out. Now I can push down on this bracket that's used to push the reel down and up so that we can pull the reel forward, disconnecting it completely from the triplex mower. Now that the reel is completely disconnected from the triplex mower, you can then pull it out and it's basically the same steps for the other two reels as well. For the winter time, we like to take all our reels off all our triplex mowers and fairway mower so that we can sharpen them over the winter for the next season. Before storing our greens triplex mower though, we will make sure all our hydraulic motors are in the brackets that are in the frame of the mower. Then we will use a strap, rope, or anything that we have around the shop to pull up on all the front rollers of all the reels that normally connect to the reels so that we can transport our triplex more into our equipment shop. How to take reels off a of fairway mower. Same thing as the triplex mower, you will have to just unbolt the bolts that connect the motor to the reel but not completely disconnecting them, just enough so you can turn the motor off. Then with the fairway mower, there are two pins that hold the reel on the bracket that connect in the middle of the reel that you have to pull out and then you lift up on the bracket that holds the reel up and then the reel should slide right out. And that's how you take a reel off a fairway mower. Then for storing the fairway mower in the winter, we will take all the pins and store them in the glove apartment of the ferry mower so that for next season when we need to put the reels back on we'll be able to find all our pins. Then with the ferry mower its hydraulic motors have longer hydraulic hoses connected to them than the green triplex mower that we can 
set the hydraulic motors into the cab of the ferry more for storing it in the winter and for transporting it, I guess, as well.